Welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. Here's what's cooking in Shale's Kitchen today. Mulberry Preserves Here are the main ingredients for our mulberry preserves. First I have about six cups of mulberries that have been washed and drained. And I have two cups of granulated sugar. I'm gonna substitute water by using a combination of orange juice and lemon juice, about three tablespoons. And I'm going to also mix up the flavors a little bit too with the zest of an orange and also of a lemon. And I will list the ingredients and quantities in the description box below for you guys. I just wanted to make a quick note about the sugar content of this recipe because I use two cups. But please feel free to adjust that. You can always use a cup and a half or even one cup if you don't like it as sweet. Simply add everything to a pot and then just bring it to a boil on medium to medium high heat. Make sure and stir everything together. Get all those flavors blended. And you know what, I can already, as the heat has hit this, um, I can already smell the aromas of the zest, the orange zest and the lemon zest and it smells just absolutely delicious. Bring everything to a boil and then lower your heat to a medium so that you have a nice simmer going for the rest of the cooking process. As the mulberries continue cooking, you'll see how they'll change to a nice, beautiful, deep, rich purple color. This is about the five minute mark. I'm gonna use a masher and mash some of our fruit, some of the mulberries, um, cause I do want like nice chunks of fruit in this, but I want some of it to be smooshed into it, you know, make it nice and jammy too. This is now the 10 minute mark and since it's still got uh, quite a bit of liquid in it, I'm going to raise the heat on high and cook it down for a few more minutes. As the liquid begins to dry down, I'm going to continue to stir it pretty regularly because I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot. This looks like it's coming in really nicely now. So it's been a couple minutes on high heat and I think I'm going to take it off the heat now and let it cool down to see how nicely it thickens. It's been about two hours and our mulberry preserves are nice and cool and ready to be jarred. So now all we need is a nice jar to store our mulberry preserves. I like to save jars just for this purpose. And these here I have sterilized already in boiling water. These two on the end, I really like. I got these at the Dollar Tree. And um, they're really good um, for storing preserves. I also stored chutney that I made in that. So I think I might use one of those. One of the reasons that I really like these jars is because of this feature here. See, it's got this really nice um, plastic ring that gives it a great airtight seal on this jar. So I think that's what I'm gonna be using because I use this a lot for jams, jellies, preserves, chutneys, anything like that. 
that you like to store a while in your refrigerator. This is a great jar to use. Dollar Tree. So are you ready? I know I am. And I have a little bit of cream cheese. I really love the sweet and the savory together. It is delicious. And I have some mulberry preserves. Now that is outstanding. You know what I love about this? The citrus notes that you get. Because remember I added some orange juice and some lemon juice and also the zest and of the orange and the lemon. Oh my goodness, it's magnificent. Thank you Lorraine. The mulberry preserves are amazing. Another bite for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you next time on Shale's Kitchen. Home of good food and good memories.